News. Each year, nearly 800,000 people in the U.S. have a stroke. Well, today in HealthCast, Charlotte Ames joins us now with a new therapy to help them recover. Charlotte. That's right, Amanda. Many stroke survivors are left with paralysis or weakness. Researchers at Johns Hopkins are working on an unusual new way to help them. David Stevenson says this robotic arm and this game helped him regain movement after a stroke earlier this year left his left side paralyzed. My arm, my leg, I couldn't move at all. I had slurred speech and my face was drooping. David tested the new technology in a study at Johns Hopkins School of Medicine during his recovery. Because it's like you're playing a video game, except it's actually helping you. The CATA Design Group is behind the technology. The eyes as they are. The team of artists, neurologists, and engineers created interactive games to help patients move again. Researchers say the games allow patients to make natural movements they don't typically do during physical and occupational therapy. Under the right kind of movements, which will allow their brain to rewire um, itself so they can move like they did before they had an injury. The technology is now being tested with a larger group. David hopes it will help others recover. Most people will be happy where, you know, where I'm at now, but I still want to be like a completely 100%. And the games are evolving. The group is currently developing a virtual reality game. The researchers hope the technology can one day help injured war veterans. Now, it's important to mention that if you get to a hospital within three to four hours of stroke symptoms, doctors can give you a medicine that may prevent some more serious disability. Amanda?